So I wanted to do this uh, quick video. I um, I put a Facebook uh, uh, picture of um, of these shoes that I got. The new Gary V sneakers. They're called uh, uh, Clouds and Dirt. And I'm going to explain to you. I'm going to I, so. Uh, people were asking me what is clouds and dirt. People are obviously not familiar yet with Gary V, uh, which I totally uh, recommend uh, that you check him out. Uh, Gary V spelled like this. Check him out on YouTube. Uh, but I wanted to quickly explain a little bit uh, of something that I, um, I I've been following Gary V for since 2007, I think, I'm probably one of the few, but. Um, but he has an amazing message that is becoming more and more relevant and more and more important in today's day and age um, that, that uh, it's, going to be, it's going to be required for people to, to follow him and his message, in my opinion. Um, otherwise, we're, we're going to be left behind in a way. And uh, certainly we're going to leave behind um, an amazing opportunity that is available right now that may not be available in the same way in a year or two or five or ten from now. So really want to take advantage of, of, of the time that we're in right now. Uh, there's a window of, of time, of opportunity that is, that is available today in a way that is probably not going to be available in, sometime in the future. So just to explain explain the concept i'm gonna have to go divert a little bit and uh, go back to um rich dad so if you're familiar that's um that's there's another uh author public speaker public um person robert kiyosaki and he wrote this book uh, rich dad poor dad and the main message of that book um, is basically he says the poor work for money and the rich work to uh, basically acquire assets and that's the difference in in his uh, explanation that um, you know the poor is working for money so they make money and then they have to pay the bills and then they have to go to work again and pay the bills again and they're in in this what what is what he calls a, the rat race basically running around and around and around and around and and without the ability to 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 um, get ahead so he says the rich, they work, they figure out how to spend their time and, f and money and energy and focus on acquiring asset. And an asset is basically something that is going to put money in your pocket and typically whether you work or not. So for example, a real estate um, property that is a rental, every month you're going to pick up a check. Whether you, you could sit on the couch all day long, you're still going to pick up the check. Uh, other types of assets are, are like gold. Gold is not something you pick up a check every time, but, but it has a potential to, to grow in value without you doing anything for it. So you put your money to work for you. So that's another type of asset. Uh, silver, uh, stocks can be an asset. Um, today there's cryptocurrency. Uh, different types of assets are something that you figure out how to pay for it once and then it has at least the potential to keep producing for you without you having to work. So that's that's the idea, and I, I diverted to that. Now, I'm going back to Gary, Gary V, and Gary V has a, a tremendous message, and he says that today, so like, let's say the, the types of assets that I mentioned before, you know, people can say, yeah, but you know what? All of these assets, real estate, gold, silver, stocks, they all require money, and I don't have any money, so I'm out of this game. I cannot get into the game of acquiring an asset because you need money to acquire, to acquire assets. Here comes Gary Vee and says, today, you don't have this, this excuse anymore. He's taking away the excuse from anybody all over the world. If you have a smartphone and you have an internet connection, you can acquire an asset today even without any money or any additional money other than your phone and the internet connection. And basically because YouTube is free, Facebook is free, Instagram is free, Twitter is free. And the new type of asset that Gary Vee is, is explaining that exists today, in, in a way, it possibly is 
the most valuable asset anybody is going to acquire, maybe more than in real estate, more, maybe more than gold, maybe more than anything. And that new type asset is called, ready for it? Attention. That's it. He says that attention is an asset. How does it work with a fan like this? Is that weird? Should I be like this? I think that's nicer. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, attention. Attention is a new type, uh, type of asset. And anyone can um, go to work and, and figure out how to get attention. Now, it does require work. So, it doesn't, it doesn't uh, require money necessarily but obviously you need to work you need to to make effort you need to figure out because the idea, idea is in order to get attention you need to figure out something that you're passionate about something you're excited about something that if you're going to start to share and put your effort into it and and do it on a daily basis and really you know take it seriously um i lost my train of thought wonder if you can pause this. All right, let's see if we can get the tra train of thought back here. <clears throat> so, so it does require work, it does require, and, and, and you need to, the idea is this, is that you have to, you have to come up with something that is, that is good. You know, you can't just say, oh yeah, I got it. So from now on, I'm going to record a video every day talking like this about whatever and, and you can talk about whatever that's fine you know if if he gave an example somebody says but i don't do anything i sit on the couch all day okay so talk about what life is like in america when uh, wherever you live sitting on the couch all day if you can <clears throat> find a way to be passionate about that about talking about that well the, the idea is you need to be real. You need to find out something that is happening in your life, be real about it, just describe it, tell a story, figure out something that you can share that is real, that is genuine. And if you, the idea, find something like that, that you can, that you can be excited about, you can be passionate about, you can share, it, can, it needs to be genuine. And then you're gonna potentially start to acquire attention of, um, you know, of people. It can be your friends in the beginning, but you need to grow um, your ability to, to capture attention. And if you're successful in that, <clears throat> you know, I saw the other day um, the, top, um, the top earners for posting, I think, on Instagram or, you, or Twitter. And I can't remember who the first one was making a million dollars. So let's say somebody wants to advertise and she puts the, um, I think it's a lady, I don't remember who it was. But if she would uh, put an Instagram post uh, uh, promoting a product, product, it's a million dollars for one post from her. And then you, you got Cristiano Ronaldo, I think is second, and he's like $800,000. So imagine that. So I'm not saying that you and I are going to get to that level necessarily, but what if we worked at it for a year, for two, for three years, <clears throat> every day producing a video or uh, audio or written figure out what is your delivery of uh, delivery method to deliver your message uh, see if you're comfortable with video with audio with with writing with vlogging something that you can deliver your 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 daily message and start delivering it see if you you're good at it see if you can get passionate see if people can find interest in that and if they do you're starting to build an asset. <clears throat> don't have to have money, you don't have to buy the gold, you don't have to buy the real estate necessarily. For free from today, you can start to build yourself an asset. And if you get to a thousand people, two thousand, a hundred thousand followers, now you got a true asset. How are you gonna monetize on it? I don't know, you're gonna figure it out. I, I'm sure by the time you have a hundred thousand followers, people are probably gonna approach uh, you at this point probably much before that. Sorry, the copier is, uh, I think uh, my wife is printing something, so sorry for the noise. <clears throat> so, I'm off the Shabbat. Um, <clears throat> now, 
that's it that's that's the message figure out something that you're passionate about i'm probably not going to release this video because i'm getting stuck losing my train of thought i probably re record it uh, again <clears throat> but that's the idea so somebody asked me about uh, about the shoes actually a few people asked me and so gary v he's the guy that um influences me a lot he's the reason why if you noticed uh, recently i started the recording videos on on facebook uh, i do real estate and uh, basically rehab properties and um, we buy them they look like horrible usually and and they smell many times and they're in horrible shape we fix them up and in most cases we resell them so that's what I do, but I, I started recording videos. And if you see that I'm more active on, on, on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, it's because I'm taking to heart the advice of Gary V and I'm saying, you know what, I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna see if I can uh, build an asset now. <clears throat> yeah, I'll, I'll, go for, I'll go for another minute on this. I just started this uh, recently, recording these videos and um, the reason I'm doing it is really to, a, a lot of it is to break my own fear because I was horrified of, of uh, putting a video and putting it on Facebook. And um, so just to break the fear, I did it. And the first video that I did, I, I discarded it like uh, 20 views later because I was so horrified. That was just a few months ago. And then the second one I did post and uh, I, I feel like I'm starting to get more comfortable with it, but it's a strategy and I'm, I'm taking to heart uh, Gary V uh, recommendation to, to at least give it a try. And you know what, if you're gonna suck at it, my opinion is figure out if you suck your way to greatness or you just, it's not gonna be great uh, at the end. So, because if it's going to take you six months of really sucking at the videos that you make or whatever content you, you put up, but you, you still feel like you have a chance and you're going to grow and you're going to actually get better and, and turn out great, don't worry about it. Don't worry about sucking. I, I suck. I, my first video, I, still to this day, I, my energy is not captivating. I'm not captivating. I know that I, I suck in, in many levels. But I'm like, you know what, I, I feel like I, I can suck my way to greatness, hopefully. And we'll fi find out, we'll figure it out if, it, if I really make it there or not. But I'm, I'm going for it, and we'll see what happens. And um, so back at these shoes. So the idea of these shoes are uh, cl uh, clouds and dirt. Clouds are the mission the motive, the macro, you know, where you want to go, where you want to be, the exciting stuff, the, the, you know, the big picture, what's going to get you excited. The dirt is you need to understand that it's part of the game and you need to be in the dirt. And probably most of the time you're going to be in the dirt. Why is the dirt? The work, the grind, the hustle. So that's the idea of, uh, of of clouds and dirt it's inspiring to me and i actually to me i i wanted to support uh support this um uh, person gary vida has given is another thing that he teaches is he is giving so much um uh content for free he doesn't charge for it and i i got like hours and hours of content from him for free so and, and he, write, he wrote a book about that called Job, 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 Right Hook. And the idea is give, 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 give. Give a lot. And then you can ask. And he says, guilt them to uh, give you. And he, he, it's, it worked with me. I feel like, you know, he gave me a million and he's asking for 10. You know, so I'm like, I'm not going to give him the 10. I'm not going to buy the sneakers. I didn't want to buy the sneakers because they're white. And to me, I feel like I'm, they're going to be dirty after, after two days, you know. So I didn't want to buy them at first. And then I decided, I, I thought, first of all, I thought I'm, I'm going to wear them in Shabbat. So that's going to work for me. But, uh, but then I figured, you know, even just to support, you know, to, to, to be able to give back. So that was my thought. But I love the sneakers and I, I did that. And um, 
here's a long explanation to anybody who asks me what uh, what is uh, the shoe all about, and uh, hope you find value in that. Take care.